Hi folks, well it's been a couple of weeks. You may think it's only been one week because I did put up a greenhouse video last weekend but I'd shot that the week before and it took me a whole week to edit it so it's actually been two weeks. So I thought I'd start off with greenhouse number two today before I show you what's been going on inside greenhouse number one. So let's have a quick look around here on super wide angle camera. It's actually so bright and sunny in here right now that I can't see the screen on the camera so hopefully I'm pointing it in the right place. But uh, in the corner here we've got a golden berry that's totally overshadowed by this brandy wine tomato now. Um, I don't know if it's showing up on there but the leaves you can see there's quite a lot of spider mite damage on there which is why that one's not growing very well. We've got this gold, this Brandywine tomato was the first one in the greenhouse and I'll try and remember to put in some of the footage of how it looked when it started out. But you can see this has really found its feet now and is taking over the world and we've got a few tomatoes on there ripening up nicely, a couple down there as well. This Sun Cherry Red Cherry Hybrid is actually picking up. I mean, it's been fruiting and putting out fruit for a while, but I noticed last week that it had a huge number of aphids on it. So I've been spraying them all with a hose pipe and it's rewarded me by putting out some more fresh green tomatoes there. And it's generally looking happier than it was a week ago. So I'm quite pleased with the progress on that. In the corner here, we've got a sweet aperitif tomato. That's uh, clearly loving life and looking very happy and it's the way these leaves on this one look compared to the ones on greenhouse number two that caused me to take some action in there. Then we've got another brandy wine that was a sucker that I stuck in this DWC bucket and that's looking fantastic as well and the size of the fruit on this thing, they're ready for harvesting today but they're humongous. And we've got my son's broad bean, uh, butter bean rather which is again absolutely loving life. We've got fresh nutrients being mixed up and we've got a very sad looking golden berry and again this one's just absolutely plagued by spider mites and I did put some of the spider mite predators on here and hopefully they're breeding as fast as they can and working to get the situation under control but um, yeah come and have a look at this one. What's this green bug I've got here? Some green bug on the end there. Let me get back with the other camera. Hopefully he's a good predator, searching out spider mites. He's certainly in the right place for it. So a week ago I pulled one of the leaves off the golden berry and just dropped it under the microscope to see if I could spot one of the spider mite predators. But instead what I saw was really rather a lot of spider mites. Um, I can count something like 15 or 16 in that frame alone and that's just a small part of one of the leaves and I kind of did a rough guess on the maths for it all and figured there was probably something around about a million spider mites in that greenhouse across all the different plants and with a thousand spider mite predators breeding every five days or so I kind of roughly guessed it out at being probably around about two months before there'd be enough spider mite predators to actually make an effective dent on the spider mites so I decided action needed to be taken and I'd have to do something about it and try and get rid of the majority of the spider mites by heavily pruning the plants. But um, on the screen at the moment you can see there's actually a spider mite baby there. Little one, he hasn't got his dark markings yet. But um, you know, they're ready to eat my plants. Now there's actually different varieties of spider mites and these are a two spot spider mite so called because of the two black spots on their back like they're wearing a little dinner jacket or something wearing a waistcoat. Um, here you can see two spider mites there feeding away on the leaf and they've got their head stuck on the leaves and you can actually see their insides moving as they swallow. You can see a little, there we go, there goes one. You can see his kind of stomach as he's sucking the juice out of the leaf there. And those little white specks that you can see that look like kind of transparent balloons kicking around, all of those are more and more spider mite eggs. Um, there really is quite a spider mite problem there just on this one leaf. So I decided I had to do something about it 
and let's have a look what I did. So I've decided to harvest all of these onions today which is a week before you'll see this video but they're basically done and there's not really much point me feeding these nutrients anymore so I'm gonna well I've harvested those I'm gonna transplant Mr. Albies back into the NFT rail and um, put something else in these grow beds I'm not quite sure what yet so I've been having a massive cleanup in here today all of those strawberries I've put into the NFT rail harvested all the onions got the last of the golden berries off that one in the corner and off that one there and I've been giving the tomatoes a good trim back on all the damaged and dead looking leaves I've also harvested all the fruit off them and all the fruit off the peppers as well so we've now got a rail full of strawberries again which um, hopefully the predators will keep the spider mites at bay there I've still got the plant one at the end there and uh, I've been hacking back the golden berry and getting rid of a lot of the dead bits on there or the very very sickly bits in on there but I've just noticed this up in the corner of the window there that brown splotch there is just a huge conglomeration of spider mites so what I'm going to do I'm going to hack back all of that so I can get to the window and we'll see how the spider mites like window lean and here's all the goodies that I've pulled out of the greenhouse today these peppers I love the pattern on these peppers just as they're turning right they look superb at the moment loads of onions loads of tomatoes don't know whether we'll manage to eat all of those in time just a huge amount of food there and we've still got some of the garlic as well as I've now got a lot of space in this bottom rail I thought I'd try a little experiment and I've taken three tops off three different suckers on the sweet aperitif from the other greenhouse and I'm just going to try sticking them in a rock wall cube and arranging a pot so that cube will sit in the nutrient solution down at the bottom of the rail and uh, see how they take. I'm not going to trim any of the side shoots or do any of the things you're normally supposed to do when transplanting tomatoes because I want to see if I can keep these flowering and possibly have them fruit basically straight away inside the NFT rail without the plants getting too big. So let's give it a try. So I'm just enlarging the hole in each of these cubes so it goes all the way down to the bottom because I want to get these plants nice and deep and hopefully they'll get roots basically all the way through the rock wall cube. Now because these net cups don't sit all the way down at the bottom of this pipe there'd be a gap underneath it where the roots wouldn't actually contact so I've hacked a hole in the bottom of this one and I plan on making it into a hybrid net cup using this two inch cup inside it and then the rock pool cube can sit down at the bottom here and I can prop the plant up with a load of growing media. So here we go, two new, straw two new tomato plants there and another one there and I'll have to wait a week or so to see how those suckers do but um, you won't get to see this till next weekend and you'll just see instant results so this is what it looks like now so this one's looking all right no sign of roots coming out of this rock wall cube yet but uh, the plant's happy enough the other two though um, yeah again this is me being bad and lacklustre in my care of my plants these were looking absolutely fine until Friday and then uh, Friday evening I came home and of course discovered that the tomatoes had run out of water again this bottom NFT rail I'm just not good enough at keeping it topped up so those two were looking kind of sad and wilted but um, I'll leave them there for another week and see how they get on you never know they might pick up yet the big brandy wine is looking superb just goes on forever and it's got some huge fruit on it and those weren't ready for harvest last weekend but we got another six huge brandy wines this weekend so I'm very happy with them the strawberries are looking much happier now they've got some predators on them to keep the spider mites under control so they're rewarding me with quite a lot of new growth now um, I think the predators are certainly doing the job on those that's looking quite happy up there and it's the same all the way along we've got flowers coming on we've got healthier looking leaves 
less cobwebs though this one there generally looking quite good and the sweet aperitif tomatoes again we've got uh, the cutback has been rewarded with some reasonable looking new growth I think we've still got a few spider mites crawling around these but um, nothing like what we did have and the plants are seemingly able to grow again and putting out more fruit and more shoots so quite pleased with that I planted a bunch of new seeds last weekend to fill up some of the space I've now got in greenhouse number one and for once I'm not going to forget what they all are because I used a permanent marker pen it's not water soluble so it shouldn't actually affect the plants or the nutrients at all so I've got a pea, three carrots two salad bowl lettuces, some oregano, some not sure, cauliflower, thyme, onions, onions, they, those are different um, spring onions that I've got on the go and I can't make out that one anymore so maybe I am going to forget what they all are. Well 11 out of 12 isn't too bad. So DWC buckets looking a bit different to how they were last time you saw them. Um, I've pruned these peppers pretty far back and taken off all the damaged leaves, tried to clean up all the spider mites. Some of the leaves have been eaten by caterpillars so having watched enough of Kang Star's videos I thought I'd go for uh, a fairly severe pruning on these and it seems to have paid off. Um, this one's looking really quite happy now and it wasn't looking this happy a week ago when I gave it a severe pruning but it seems to have got the idea that uh, it can put out lots of new growth and um, I don't think we're too badly plagued by the spider mites on these I can see a few of them on the underneath of that leaf but hopefully the predators will be able to get them under control now this one here is looking quite happy and started to fruit again because I took all the fruit off them last weekend and the golden berries, well, we'll see if they come back or not. Um, I started pruning and there just wasn't anywhere to actually stop. Every single leaf on the plants was totally crawling with spider mites. And as you've already seen, um, I just had to do the numbers game on that. And with a thousand predators and a million spider mites in here, there was no way the predators were going to get them under control before the spider mites finished off the plants. So... I went on a hacking mission and um, this is what's left of the golden berries but I've got a huge sack of fruit now so um, I'm not too upset about that and these might put out some new growth in a couple of weeks time to see what happens with them. So thank you for joining me today in my greenhouses folks, um, hope you enjoyed this and a look at the spider mites under the camera and um, I'll give you the next update in a couple of weeks time. Cheers folks, see you next time, bye! Hey, get off my tomatoes, you.